Hello. Hi, hey, uh, everyone. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our six month on the road Q&A video. <laughs> this is just going to be a bit of a um, uh, wing it and see type of video. We asked uh, some of our followers and subscribers to send in some video, um, some questions, questions, not some videos, some questions about what, uh, what it's been like living on the road uh, for six months in our truck. Uh, so we're just going to read through some of the questions and answer them. We've obviously read through the questions, but haven't discussed. We haven't discussed much or <laughs> written any answers. So we'll see how long this goes for. Don't think it'll go for too long. Uh, if you get bored of looking at our faces, um, you can turn <laughs> turn it off. Oh, hello, Cosmo. <laughs> I can just see you Cosmo's nose. nose in the video. <laughs> Cosmo is absolutely here uh, with us. <laughs> I'll do that maybe so he can cute. So we can see him there. Uh, anyway. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it. So, uh, question months. number one. Uh, what has been the hardest part of your lifestyle change that you've had to cope with in the last six months? Um, mm. It's probably living in such a small space. Yep. Uh, I think it's been, been mm. great living in a small space, but we're on top of each other all the time. Thankfully, our relationship is good. <laughs> we haven't killed each other yet. <laughs> Um, but it's a small space, you know, it's two yeah. steps to the kitchen, two steps to the bathroom. Um, we have got outside, obviously, and we would have actually liked to have filmed this outside, but the weather's pretty crap, so um, we're, we're in here. Yeah, and I totally agree. It's the, for me, especially, it's the, the space, the small space. Um, just getting used to a smaller kitchen, yeah. less bench space, you name it, everything's smaller. But, yeah, yeah it's all right, we'll get used to it. Yeah. It's, it's better it's than... Been um, yeah. It's been a bit freeing, sort of getting rid of everything, but... It's comfortable, but but cozy. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the hardest thing about travelling with the dog? Mm. Uh, for me, definitely missing out on the national park. Yep. Uh, we we speak to a lot of people, and it's like, oh, have you been there? Like, no, we can't go there because of cozy. Um, we camped there. No, we can't go there because of cozy. Uh, so you know, it, we knew that going into this into this um, that uh, it's going to be a, a struggle with him going to certain places and you know we haven't been able to do haven't been able to do boat cruises or do any experiences unless they are dog friendly mm. like like, uh, like the, the Daintree River cruise Daintree was good, that yeah. was great seeing the crocs that yep. was amazing being able to take him mm. but uh, yeah and and I would agree with that and I think the only other um, and I wouldn't say hard but challenging or frustrating thing at times is the weather yeah. and having to take him outside and if it's sandy and it's wet and it's yep. dirty and it's muddy yep. and regardless of what time of day or yep. night it is you've got a wet dog that you have to um, yep. clean deal, and deal dry yep. yeah but you know it's a small thing we yep. as Craig said yep. we went in this knowing we um, we'd have our little boy with us and we, we wouldn't change that no absolutely not um, it's a sacrifice that we we're willing to make uh, and it's a re one of the reasons why we we bought the boat is is so we've got something else to do. We can take our boat out to places we would usually take a boat on a boat trip or something. So it's been good. Been amazing. Uh, has your new lifestyle met your expectations? Uh, exceeded it? Yes, yep, for sure. Yes, yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. No questions asked. Been best thing we've ever done. Yeah, um, do it, people. If you can do yeah. it, that we hope we can inspire you to just make a plan. Yeah. Sort out your goals and do it. Yeah. Uh, what are your future travel plans? Well, uh, you cover this one. Look, I uh, kind of pretty much know for, where for the meantime, we are literally just going to be travelling around Australia uh, for the next two, three years, most probably. Uh, so uh, this summer time will be mostly in Victoria. Then we'll head on over to South Australia and WA for winter of next year. That's the plan. That's Could the plan. change, but yeah, that's the knows. plan for the moment. If you stop bumping oh, the table, so. that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, do you miss living in a house? And if so, what do you miss the most? Space uh, for me, that space, would be yeah. about it. Yeah, space for me, uh, larger bathroom, oh, La yeah. larger shower. Um, yeah. And we do shower reasonably often in like caravan parks or campsites where they've got showers. And the shower in the truck is fine, but uh, for me, because I'm so big, it's small it, it is tight it's tight like yeah I, I don't quite stand like that in the shower but it's almost almost like that mm. um, since we replaced the water pump in there the pressure is good but um, 
Oh, I've got one quick thing to add to that, mm. is having a toilet that just flushes and you don't have to think about. <laughs> don't have to empty. Well, don't have to empty it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's probably one of the biggest things for us as well. Yeah. Uh, miss the most as well, is probably maybe an oven. Oh yeah, I miss oven baking. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. miss I miss the baked goods. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you like and dislike most about your truck? Um, uh, what do you like, what I like most? Uh, that it is just a all-in-one home on wheels, takes us no time to set up. We literally pull up to camp, we'll climb in the back and we're done. Watching caravanners and camper vans taking forever to set up would be my biggest uh, uh, like about the truck and you know it, it, it can go anywhere uh, 37 inch tires big suspension if lots of uh, off-road off-road capability is good uh, what I dislike most dislike most about it is just the lack of space and the living space in the back yeah. um, we, look, we, we, I don't want to go on about it being small yeah, in the back here we, we knew it's, uh, super yeah, comfy it's fine. but another meter or so would be great um, and just another shelf or something in the kitchen for, mm. for cooking Mm. What about you? Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. I One thing I do love, though, is the bed is just there. It's made all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's permanently made yeah. up, which is great. Yeah, other than that, it's yeah. fine. Uh, what would you change about the truck? Well, another As metre of space. Said. Yeah, Another metre of space, which would give, you would use like half a metre to make the kitchen slightly bigger and half a metre to make the bathroom, bathroom. slightly bigger. Yeah, that's Other than that, it. yeah, nothing. Uh, what are your monthly travel costs? Um, and we looked at uh, that a little bit a while ago, didn't we? We, we did. Uh, um, look, New South Wales North Coast and Queensland, we spent a lot of money on caravan parks mm. just because we couldn't find any decent free spots um, because they were all in national parks, so we couldn't take Cozzy. Mm. Um, but well, I think we're going to be around 35 for the year, for the whole, yeah. for the whole 12 months. Grand for the year. Somewhere yeah, there. Right. It's, it's always more, more expensive, I think, the first. Six, six months or first 12 mm -hmm. months just to sort of get into the groove um, yep. but yeah it's, it's definitely been we spend more money than we thought we would and and of course things come up like vet bills and physio yeah. bills and yeah. medical and and yeah. um, maintenance yeah and, all sorts and you know broken you know, air conditioning and, <laughs> and all sorts of yeah. yeah yeah but yeah about that yeah uh, do you work on the road absolutely not no um, we do these YouTube videos once a week <laughs> which seems like work sometimes but uh, that's about it. Uh, no, no, don't want, don't want to work right now. We don't, we don't need to. And not for, for now, the moment. As long yeah. as we can possibly go without working, that's the plan. Yep. Uh, does travelling with a boat you set you back at any time? Uh, not really. We've we've gotten pretty good at it. If we're going somewhere um, that is not suitable for taking the boat, and we really want to go there, we just leave it behind somewhere, either at a boat storage place or at a caravan park, they often store stuff. Um, but for us, no, we've, we've got it down pretty pat. I'm pretty good at reversing the you boat. Are. With, he is. With the truck on, with the truck. Um, mm. I can get it into most places pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, no, it, if it, it's been all positives with the boat. Yeah. Uh, I'm just sad we didn't start, start the trip off with the boat. Mm. Um, we'll have to backtrack and go to all the places yeah. we haven't been to yeah. <laughs> over the years. I mean, obviously, we, we can't go traveling through the high country or anything mm. from a long distances with the boat on the back because it's not suitable for that so in those situations again we'll just leave it in a town and just sort of swing back and come come and pick the boat back up uh what has surprised you most about living on the road mm -hmm. that's a good question it is um surprise us most uh, oh amount of people Does, that are doing it a lot, yeah. a lot of, a lot and of, families a lot of grey yeah. nomads a lot of a lot of old people some some of them really, some of them shouldn't be driving get a bit concerned big four about drives of caravans. Like some of them, you know, you see them get, getting out of the vehicle with the bloody walking frame. Like, mm. uh, good on them, but oh, sometimes you just don't feel safe. Um, yeah. And a lot more families, I think, with children. They might be, yeah. um, whether it's homeschooling or yep. whatever yep. else, but it's good to see yep. that there's more families out. But yeah, what surprises most, a lot of travellers since of travellers, COVID. Yeah. And some people travel with yeah. weird animals. Oh, so many birds. Birds, yeah. Birds in cages. So. Yeah. What more cats yeah. than expected? Yeah, cats, cats, I suppose. Other than that, not, not too much has surprised us, no. I think. You know, we've been travelling 
yeah. whether it's in this and other vehicles yeah. for a long yeah. time. It's not a, not, not much time. surprises us. No. Uh, what has been your favourite area so far? Ooh. Far North Queensland. Yeah, apart from the weather, like the humidity, the humidity and the heat. Yeah. The humidity and the heat was sucked, but yeah, once you get past Cairns, like Port Douglas, was Port Douglas? Yep. Yeah. Port Douglas yeah. North, Palm Cove, into Bloomfield, Bloomfield, that area, just, oh, just stunning. beautiful. Um, stunning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Favourite campsite so far? Be oh. Well, you know, you know one of mine is a uh, Secret Lake Secret Retreat. Secret Lake Retreat near, near Lawrence. Lawrence in New Lawrence. South Wales. Yeah, that was one of my favourites. And probably Bloomfield mm. Beach Camp. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was cool. pretty yeah, nice. Three of those two. Uh, yeah. They were good. Uh, what has been your most disappointing place? Uh, <laughs> Cairns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By far and away, Cairns. That did not meet our nope. expectations. Nope, 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 nope. Cairns. Doesn't look like the photos no, on Google. No, you look, you look on Google <laughs> and you think about what you expect the place to look like and mm. it doesn't. It's run down, um, worn out, uh, just it's just horrible. Like we just mm. We just didn't like it. We were there for... A week and a bit, ten days, I think, somewhere there. Yeah. Eight days, we, I mean, days. we enjoyed the time because it was my birthday week and had my girlfriends yep, come up and for sure. like that. That putting putting that aside, yep. I think it's just um, the place itself is just so run down. That we thought it would be more like Palm Cove or Port, Port Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. Um, you expect like sandy beaches and palm trees, and, and but it's not. It's just, just a small, uh, very small section of that, just for yeah, tourists. <laughs> dirty and just yeah, it wasn't great. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I think that was that's been the biggest letdown for us. Yeah, even we drive, a place like, even we town. drove in and drove through, like, oh mm, god, this isn't this isn't quite what we expected. No. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, how has it been living together for so long in such a small space? <laughs> fine. It's been fine. Oh no, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. We 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 don't have arguments. Jen and I have not had like a proper fight in 23 years. Um, no, we just don't argue about things. No. Like we just. We, I think the we, most we would ever have discussions and a little bit tips about if we knew, would be the aircon and what <laughs> bloody <laughs> speed to put the fan on. Cause what temperature? Temperature. Because yeah. I feel the cold and yeah. Craig just doesn't. Yeah. Um, so at night time, it's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would, like, you, know, you, That's you, about those, you get those jokes about dads arguing about the thermostat. I'm one of those. I just. I like it on 18, Jen gets too cold at 18. Yeah. No, we're, That's it, it's we're been going fine. fine so yeah, far, fine. six months down yeah, the track. Yeah, and, you know, it's fine. One of us will take Cosmo for a walk, or you go I'll go fishing on the river, or we'll I'll go keep, sit outside. Yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we're not attached at the hip 24 7, <laughs> we just go and do our own thing if we have to. Um, yeah, been fine. great, he's been a fine. keeper. Yeah, it's been fine. We'll keep him. Uh, what are we <laughs> up to? Um, fuel consumption with and without the boat. Oh, yeah. Um, very good. Mm. Uh, it's been surprising. So we use an app called Fuelio, um, and we, we, we track all our fuel usage and cost, etc. And the other day when we checked, uh, so we've got with boat and without boat. So before boat, it was between 15 and 16 litres yep. per 100 k's. Mm -hmm. so that was overall. We've done 20 odd thousand k's now, 21, 22 thousand k's. Yep. Um, uh, with the boat between 17 and 18 mm. litres per hundred. Yeah, I think we've last full was 19 six, once. Yeah, the last full was 16 point something, and yep. that was with the boat. That was so with the boat. It yeah. all depends. If we're going up and down steep, like steep mountain ranges, then it goes up, obviously. If you've got tailwind and flat roads, then it goes down. But yeah. Um, so oh, I was going to mention, so this is six months on the road. We've done 16,000 kilometres since we left Melbourne. So. I mean, from Melbourne to Cairns is only like three and a half, four thousand k's. <laughs> so we've done four times that somehow. We've sort of done zigzags the whole way up and back and forth. So well, we did try and miss the floods a lot too. So yeah, we drive so we three, went, four we hours in inland yeah. and then back to the coast again. Yeah. But uh, if you look on the on a big scheme of things, on the map of Australia, it's just a little bit up like the much, east yeah. coast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Lots um, to do. Lots to do. So yeah, fuel's been good. Um, not a drama. We haven't had a hiccup with the truck. It's been great. Mm. Um, highlights mm. and lowlights of the trip so far. Um, Lowlight cans for sure. Look, mm. we, or for me, I expecting expected so much more, um, mm. but super disappointed. Um, the highlights. Um, oh, look, the, it's impossible to say what's been the highlight. Yeah. I think 
for me the feeling of freedom and uh, lack of stress that I've experienced over the last six months was probably the, the highlight for us yeah. or for me anyway um, but we live such a stress reasonably stress-free life for, for us besides what's going on with family or, or anything like that <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I agree it is that sort sense of, of freedom and yeah just it, day to day yeah I was gonna say that as well you know we sometimes we don't even know where we're going the next day we'll just look up wiki camps and yeah not today we looked up wiki camps we we living where we are now we live it tomorrow <laughs> and at the moment we sort of look at the weather see where the weather's going to be good within two to four hours drive and then from there we find camps mm. um, and then decide how long we want to stay there and off we go yeah so uh, best yeah, highlight has been the freedom that we've experienced and um, and just seeing such diverse places and yeah pe meeting people and yeah. yeah just life on the road yeah, generally, yeah. Great. Well, I think that's about it. That's, yeah. that's all the questions that everyone asked us. Um, you got anything you want to add? Mm, not particularly. I think um, we've covered pretty much everything there. Mm. Um, yeah, look, oh, I don't know what the next six yeah, will be, issue, but it's going to Issues with the truck. We have, we've had... Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we, we've had some issues with the truck. Many small, niggly just quality control things that should have been addressed when it was put together. Mm. Um, that's all been sorted out by either myself or AAV. We had we took the truck back there a couple of weeks ago. Um, the biggest biggest problem we've had, I suppose, would be the um, the exhaust. Actually, all the all the mounts on the exhaust that they fit broke off. Um, but they've got a new supply now and they've they just replaced the whole exhaust for us which is great mm. um, and it looks far better mm -hmm. um, and we had a problem with our water tank where we weren't, oh, we weren't yeah. drawing all 200 litres out of the tank um, and that has been sorted as well so those have probably been the two biggest problems yep. I think all the all the other ones have been little been and little, you've, you've little been able to fix basically yeah. Yeah. everything else yeah. so we need to keep reminding ourselves that, that you know that this, we're only number 32 mm. so it's not like they've built thousands of them, but um, every, everything's right. been fine. Like we had no, nothing's fallen off or broken or like been been a disaster. So that's all been great. Yeah. Um, yeah, the truck's been good. Everything else has been fine. Um, nice. Haven't quite dialed in the mattress yet. I don't think mm -hmm. we've got a nice memory foam mattress. Um, for me, it's comfy. For Jen, it's not quite comfortable. Her back still gets sore. Mm. Um, that's a little bit. Yeah. But Keep stretching. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's probably about 15, probably about 16 minutes of videos. Yeah, we don't want to on any yeah. longer than we have to. We don't no. want to bore you. <laughs> no. Um, if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, please just subscribe. <laughs> just subscribe. Hit the button and down there. And, and yeah, if the you like, bell. And what else? <laughs> just subscribe. Like, you know, we're, we uh, would really like to get to 1,000 subscribers sometimes, sometime early next year. Um, that would be great. And I think we'll do another walk around, maybe in another few months. In another maybe, few, maybe, another few months. It's probably at about maybe um, maybe the twelve month mark. Maybe we need to wait to the twelve months, and we'll do another full walk 12 around. Months, twelve months, twelve months on the road. The we'll do an Methuso. actual review. Like I did a walk, walk around video that's had tons of views, um, but I'll do an actual review of the truck and everything that's gone wrong, everything that's gone right. But mm. that's done right. Anyway, bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye, Cozzy. Bye, Coz. <laughs> See you, boy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>